Oh, to be a tree. Just minded its own business. All the years it's seen of world events. All the years of man, men, women, trying to deceive. Blinding people with so much chaos. So many, so many psyops. All in the system. Sometimes you wake up, you wake up and, and you can see the lies, you can see the deception, you can see the con, icon, icon you, Pfft. unbelievable, isn't it tree? The tree knows the truth. <laughs> it's not stupid. Can't be fooled. It's a tree. It's got its roots firmly planted. Grounded, taking it all in. Growing. Through no matter what happens in the world, it's still growing. That's what we have to do, no matter what shit is being thrown our way. Because all of this, guys, is not perpetrated by us. Who's, who's it, who is it coming from? Who's all this bullshit coming from? Who is it coming from? and why and when you follow the money and you see who's funding this or who has funded it who's lying <laughs> it's unbelievable and then you try and pass that information that you've found on not the intention to look a smart ass. The intentions to pass it on and hope that others will see what you can see. But you see, the next tree, that can't see what this tree can see because its, it's vision is blocked by this tree. And that's what they're doing, they're putting blockages in the way to blind to stop you from seeing the truth clearly. And then it looks like they're on our side. It looks like they're raising awareness. Really? What? And the other people that were in the past, what's happened to them? You know, this has come out of Hollywood. It's a theatrical performance from Hollywood. Knowing what we know, why would you believe it? Have you researched it? Have you seen who's behind it? Have you seen that Mormon Church backs it? Do you know how much the Mormon Church makes a year in profits? Where does this money go? I'm really disillusioned. I'm disillusioned by people who can't see it now. But like this tree, it still will never be able to see what that tree can see because of things in the way of it. It hasn't got the same point of view, has it? 
because it's not in the same point. So sometimes you have to step away, step away from your physical sort of existence here on earth and look at the bigger picture. Step away from the bombardment of so-called truths and awarenesses for people like us that aren't truths and awarenesses, they're just there to blind us, desensitise you till the next one, till the next one, till the next one and then you be like, oh yeah, yeah we know, we know they're all over, we know. You know, they've already offered this in America years ago. I'll get the link. Let's chip your children. We're giving this present to you. It's a gift to you to keep our children safe. Swab the DNA. Get all of the details. The parents' address, phone number, everything about that child. Put a chip in the child. Wow. Well, you know, if the child's ever lost, it can be traceable then, can't it? Yeah. Silly us. And they give it for free. It's nice of them, isn't it? Really? So, these truthers who think the sound of freedom is music to their ears. You've been tricked. You've been fooled. It's another way of keeping you, because we know that you don't want to be in the system. It's another way of keeping you in the system. They tried it with the dogs, you know. Um, they tried to move people with their emotions, with the dogs, yeah. Millions of marshals. Yeah, but you know, now we've got a movie to move your emotions and it's working. Did you know that they're advertising for people to invest in it? Angel Productions, invest, invest, invest. Unbelievable. There's loads, guys. I've got like links after links after links after links after research done on this. And I've tried to pass it on. Like we all have, you know, when this shit show started three and a half years ago. That's that's when my I woke up. But as clear as day as I could see it then. As clear as day I could see it now. With this. Do you believe what's put out in Hollywood? Really? After all of the things that have come out about it? And you still believe in it? You're still accepting the thrum the crumbs thrown down on the table? Wow. <laughs> See, I can't understand it. I'll be honest, I can't understand it. It's so clear as day. But that's what they want. They want the truth is divided. Because we're, we're strong when we, we unite, we're strong. But not when they, we're divided. Oh, let's break them up. Oh, we'll have some thinking this and some thinking that. I'll have them fighting over this and that over that. Wow. It's as clear as day what's behind it. Why aren't they telling you about everybody else involved in it? Why aren't they telling you what's really going on? You see, normally you find the one who thinks it is in it because it's in the conscious. 
So usually you find the people who come up and front all this and pretend to be the hero. Yeah. Yeah. They know a lot then, don't they? Yeah. And who are they working with? Who are they working for? Who are they making money for? Who's behind it? Who do they not want you to know who's behind it? Let's front this out. Let's roll this out. Get them believing this. So they'll go that way down that path. And then we'll just... We'll um, lose the scent then. Yeah, of the real truth. Wow. It's so sad. It is so sad. It's a great movie. It's amazing. All the awareness. Look what they're doing. Yay! You might as well clap your hands like a bunch of seals. Because they're laughing at you. Because you can't see it. You can't see it, can you? Unbelievable. Wow. Huh. Unbelievable. So to be like a tree, a tree knows the truth. It's not moving, is it? It's taking everything in. <laughs> so, yes. It's a bit of a pantomime at the moment, isn't it? And it's sad. You know, he got his movie out this year, hasn't he? The Christ movie. Just one way of promoting it, isn't it? Yeah. That's fine, you know, if you don't believe me, don't believe me. It's not my life, it's not my path. But I'm so glad I've got the eyes to see. I was talking about this last night, I thought, why have we got the eyes to see? Why have people been given this sight, this insight? Why have people been given this? What do we do with it now that we can see it? So all I can do is pass it on. Apart from give completely everything away that I've found that, you know, could jeopardise me. So, I'll have to leave it with you. <laughs> I'll have to leave it with people. You know, this is where discernment comes in. This is our lives we're talking about. This is our life, our path, our way our journey and nobody can walk that journey for you it's a path you have to walk alone narrow is the path and it's getting narrower guys it's getting narrower and we're losing people in the truth they're being blinded they're being blinded by hollywood movies really Just think about it, think. Why now? <laughs> Why now? You know, I, I shared, I looked yesterday at somebody, somebody had a pair of pudsy pyjamas on, right? And this is where my eyes and my awareness is at the moment. Now, when I was, a, you know, asleep, should we say, I don't like using these terminologies, but, you know, it's simplifying things at the moment. I never saw that. I never, I saw that Pudsy always had a sore eye, and I always thought and laughed and joked, and, oh, all the money they're making, they think they could pick, fix Pudsy's eye, you know, by now. And then I looked at it yesterday, and you can't see it until you can see it. And I looked at the pyjamas of Pudsy with the patch over his one eye. 
does anybody get me? And I thought, you're joking. I didn't see that. Wow. Wow. And I was absolutely amazed. So I did a bit of digging, you see. I would strongly advise when we get that bang in our solar plexus, you know, our, there's a there's a, supposed to be a brain there or something. There's some intuition, isn't there? When we get that bang and that intuitive feeling kicks in that something's not quite right. I usually do a bit of digging because that's what you do when you try and find treasure. You dig, don't you? You dig for it and try and find it. Well, if you dig, you'll find it. And it's unbelievable, even about this blooming bear. <laughs> the one eye bear, throwing the one eye, do you get it? And I didn't know that. <laughs> I never saw it. Well, I did a bit of digging and the logos you use for Pudsy Bear. 1985. And it's the, the pyramid triangle. Yeah, and he's got triangles all over his, his bandana as well. He didn't have spots. He had triangles. Yeah, like pyramids. I mean, I thought I'd see an eye in there, but I didn't. And I, I never knew that in 2009. Ask yourself this then, guys. You can search it on the internet. Why would Tony Blair and George Bush sign a pudsy bear? Children in need. Children. Hello. And you're listening to a Hollywood movie. <laughs> and the bear was a female bear. They introduced a female bear. Um, no, to try and get corporate organisations into it, you know. And it was called, guess what it was called? Now, bearing in mind Blair and Bush signed Pudsy, guess what this bear was called, the female bear? Blush. Blush. Anybody getting it? So you got. Bl, BL for Blair and USH Ush for Bush Blush So why would why would they be interested in children in need? Yeah Why would they guys? Should we ask ourselves that? Why would governments be so interested in children? Why would Hollyweird be so interested in children? What have we heard about children for years? What did Cappy try and tell you about children? What have other celebrities tried to tell you about children? What about Jill Dando? Hmm? BBC? No? Savile? What we found out about him? So why would you pay money to go and see that trash? Because it really makes me angry. It makes me angry that my brothers and sisters, my other truthers, my other people that are aware, my other people, my other soulmates, my other... other people I'm sharing this, this land with that have been tricked and fooled and lied to. Why would they want them to pay money and sit in the cinema, go and lower the vibrations, be, be in their consciousness and their thoughts and, and bring them down and, and be exposed to the atrocities going on? By the way, they won't, they won't show you the real things that are going on. They won't show you who's really behind it. Don't you think it's a little bit of a false flag to stop you from digging a bit, bit deeper and seeing whose real names are behind this? That's what gets me mad. Especially when I'm trying to tell people and I'm trying to provide the evidence. 
and it's there it's all there on the internet but you see you have to want the desire to find the treasure you have to want to dig it won't be revealed unless you dig for it and when you dig for it you can see it so I'm annoyed that my fellow brothers and sisters have been taken for a ride yeah I'm trying to pass on what I know that's all and what I find out you know this lady who designed Pudsey, she came from Pudsey. I can't remember her name now. It's in a link somewhere. Something Lane. They said the name, the same name as Lane, as in down the lane. And then in another article, a couple more, it's the same, the same name as Ball. So I can't quite decipher that one. But she came from um, a town called Pudsey in North Yorkshire. Yeah, and if you can... Research a bit of that. Her granddad was was the mayor of the town, and um, yeah, there's lots, there's lots, and then there's a part of Pudsey called I think it's Cal Calvary, Calvary, something like that. It sounds like Calvary. It's not quite that. I haven't. Uh, I can't remember it offhand, but I'll get it. But um, yeah. Okay. It talks about this guy being um, a murderer. He murdered his family, he murdered his children. So it's all quite sinister when you, when you dig deep. And you see that these people were prominent politicians of the day. And then he joined the Black Prince and he joined the Freelance. So... I think there's a lot of free men. Maybe. I don't know. But it's very sinister, isn't it? When you go looking. Go looking who's, who children in need are partnered with as well. You want to look into Sound of Freedom? You want to look in to who's behind it, really. Really, 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 really behind it. Who's trying to steer you away from the truth? He who smelt it dealt it, eh? Do you really think the government's and I've not known about this, really. And you trust your government after the last three and a half years? Really? Wow. So, I'll leave it there, guys. You do the research. You do your homework. You find out the truth. You dig and you will find the treasure because it will just certify what you thought all along yeah do they really rescue these poor children in these terrible war-torn countries is that the word rescue is it is that the word they use rescue Mm. Okay. Right. Well, it certainly leads them to them. So, yeah, that's a great thing, isn't it? Because, wow. Over here. Way, look. Amazing. So, if you really, really, really think it's done so much to raise awareness for the children... I bet the children are waving their arms, saying, no, no, it's not over there, it's over here. Don't be tricked, don't be fooled. Yeah.
huge, huge profit making business. And they're leading you to the Hollywood theatre. The, the movie screens to move you, to move your emotions. Roll up, roll up, get your popcorn out. Uh, really? Wow. I'll leave it there.